So you are having issues getting NDI to show up in OBS Studio, right? Maybe that is the reason why you click on this video. Well, I was having this issue a few days ago and I finally nailed the problem. See, I went on YouTube and I followed some of those guides on how to, you know, install NDI and blah, blah, blah. And so I followed some links and downloaded the links that they posted and no luck. OBS Studio wasn't picking up the NDI plugin. Why? I'll tell you why. Well, first of all, I went and downloaded OBS Studio, right? This one right here. And something to take in consideration is very, and it's very important, the version of OBS. See, the version 21.1, right? You have to download the correct NDI plugin for your OBS. So if we look in here, the recent updated open broadcaster software OBS, it's 21.1. You want to make sure that you are downloading the correct NDI plugin. So if we go into this uh, website, I'm going to leave you guys both of these links to download it. But you want to make sure that you download the compatible NDI plugin. That it's one issue that I was having and I finally realized it. And it's something that should make sense. But sometimes, you know, mistakes happen. So right here, you go down to, you know, the plugin and you read on Windows only use this release with OBS 21.1 or above right take a look in here 21.1 so this is going to be a compatible working obs studio with ndi so enough with the talk go ahead and click download and download uh, the installer as well i already have it downloaded just to speed up the video but as you can see here obs studio 21.1 and obs ndi 4.3 which it's this one here so I'm going to go ahead and close this window and I'm going to go ahead and install OBS Studio. And here we go. Agree. Uh, install it wherever you want to install it. I'm going to go ahead and install it to my SSD. Games and apps. Right there. Next install it all right well once it's downloaded go ahead and uncheck that because you don't want to launch it yet and go ahead and open up the obs ndi 4.3 all righty select your language click ok accept the agreement and right here guys you got to be very careful right here i made a mistake that was also causing problems. I changed the installer path. See this right here, this installer is going to install it right into the folders where the plugins of OBS are. What I did wrong is that I changed the installer as well. That was one of the mistakes that I did. And I was also installing incompatible NDI plugins with <laughs> OBS Studio. So it, that is probably an issue that you're having. So let me go ahead and uh, install it. See, this little error thing pops up, right? And that makes you think, why well, I, I need to change it. So click yes. Next, install it. And it's downloading additional files. It hangs in this window for a little bit, up to one minute. So let it do its thing. There it is. Now go ahead and click finish and go ahead and restart your computer. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are back. Now let's go ahead and open up OBS Studio. And well, here we have our OBS Studio. Picking up my mic and everything. Let me go ahead and uh, now if you go on tools, you have the NDI output plugin setting. So all you got to do is enable it on your gaming PC and click OK. All right. And you do the same procedure with your streaming computer. And after that, you know, your own settings, your own things, blah, blah, blah. Let me go ahead and uh, launch my streaming PC. I 
I call it Frankenstein because the computer is from 2009 with some 2018 products in it and it's just <laughs> it's just a Frankenstein computer okay so on this computer I already did everything I show you guys here so do the same things but on that one do not enable like don't click enable NDI output because that that is the one that is going to be receiving the input so let me go ahead and launch OBS over there see there you go you can see it back here it's already picking up whatever um, well, let me close this it's already picking up whatever it's on OBS studio and see I am moving it here on the screen and you can see it back there with a little bit of delay which it's okay also uh, check check this out I am recording with Streamlabs OBS so check this I'm gonna bring it into the screen you can see it moving around right and that is the magic of OBS Studio NDI plugin. Now, when it comes to Streamlabs OBS, I am going to make a video about that explaining a couple of things, but it doesn't work the same. I'm just saying. So if you want to capture everything you're doing with OBS over here, you want to use OBS Studio. Streamlabs OBS is still not supported, even though they release an NDI plugin. It's just not, it, it, it's not worth it. All right, guys, what I want you to take away from this video is download the correct version of the NDI plugin according to your OBS Studio version. If you watch this video a few months from now, just remember, download the correct version of NDI plugin according to your OBS Studio version. If you do that, you will not have problems. You have to do the same thing with both computers. And if you don't know what version of OBS you're using, well, it's right here. OBS Studio 21.1.0. If you have any questions, if you're having issues trying to get OBS Studio to work, please leave them down below in the description. I'll be happy to reply ASAP as soon as possible. And or the community out there, please let's help one another. This was your host, Sergio with the Correct Locked, signing out. I'll see you guys next time.